Hello everybody, welcome to my guide on how to have an easy start with the Hearts of Stone expansion. You can play the expansion with your uh, save game from your normal playthrough, uh, I, but you can also play with a preset level 32 character created by the devs. And I think that's what most people choose. Now this character has unfortunately bad gear, uh, bad armor, bad swords uh, and also uh, he d doesn't have like uh, only a few enhanced and basic potions, v very few bombs, also v quite v basic oils and only a few not really helpful decoctions. This character doesn't have also any jewelry and very basic alchemy and crafting ingredients. He also doesn't have a lot of diagrams for alchemy or for crafting. While he has uh, quite a lot of oil diagrams, you cannot really create anything because you don't have the ingredients. This diagram also has only a few basic bomb and potion uh, diagrams. The only good thing about this character is that he has 20,000 gold, but this is, isn't a lot. So how to skill this character up? First of all, you have only a, one set of medium armor. And since that, uh, I think uh, build mixed build between combat and sign uh, build is a good option, a battle mage build. So you'll make use of the high stamina regeneration. This character is level 32 but has 42 ability points which I think is not a lot. Normally at level 32 you will have way more ability points since you have found a lot of places of power. So uh, I recommend to go with the fast attack and uh, go also with the combat skills that give you um, more adrenaline regeneration and adrenaline um, focused uh, skills and uh, then finally you can go for deadly precision which will give you uh, 6 or 8 percent um, and chance of instant kill which is always nice and since uh, uh, in a battle mage build axi is the most powerful spell uh, you should um, um, you should put all the points into um, into axi unfortunately you do not have enough points to get to the uh, second level of axi also do not uh, forget to put the right mutagens in the slots and uh, choose the griffins cool uh, skill. Now um, s what you can do to get more ability points is just go and uh, find places of power. White Orchard alone has six places of power and if you do not remember where, where they are I'll just show you here uh, but you can just op google an interactive map of uh, uh, which are free and uh, there easily find all the places of power. So Magic. once you a place of power. Uh, found a, uh, a few places of power in White Orchard, they're actually quite easy to uh, get the points because you know the um, the monsters that guard them are like very low level and they're no danger to you. So you can take. Um, as many places of power as you want but I think just for the beginning free is enough because now you have um, you can spend them on the second level of Axie uh, which allows you to um, take over enemies uh, and let them fight for you. Now that you have a basic build you yeah. can go and get Maybe. Uh, uh, all the diagrams you need this uh, herbalist and the main island of Skellig uh, has uh, a few good decoction, uh, including the Archgriffin decoction, 
and also he has a lot of alchemy ingredients which you can buy especially the cheaper ones the more expensive one you have to be careful how many ones you buy once you bought all the necessary stuff from the herbalist at the druid camp go from the druid camp on horse to get the knife and you won't have the fast travel point so you have to take your horse and go into this cave where you will find Yoller who has all the what? and the coctions and all the potion diagrams and um, so not only will you be able to buy them all but just having the decoctions, uh, the diagrams will allow you to have a um, higher toxicity levels uh, because of your uh, alchemy skill acquired tolerance. Unfortunately, you will still need a lot of ingredients to create all those potions, but some are available right away. Now, the next thing is I suggest you get a good armor and a good armor can be found from the Archgriffin east of Oxenford. Normally you'll, he will be level 35 but he's very easy to kill and he will give you the Archgriffin mutagem and which allows you to create the Archgriffin decoction which is very powerful even though it's got nerf and he will also give you the ZRL armor which is a very good heavy armor uh, that uh, has a resistance uh, to slashing damage of uh, 40 and 25% resistance to monster damage and uh, it also will have three slots for enhancement or glyphs next up i suggest you get the akimara decoction so you have to go in valent to buy ways but unfortunately you don't have the fast travel point so you have to uh, ride from the road to bald mountain fast travel point now there you will have to kill some ghouls and after you do that you'll be a able to do a quest uh, that will allow you to find uh, an Akimara in a tunnel. Now he's very easy to kill because you can axe him and he won't attack you and a whirlwind attack will uh, kill him easily. He will drop some loot and also have the Akimara mutagen which will allow you to craft the Akimara and the coction which gives a 10% life leech for your attacks which especially with instant kill is quite good next up i suggest you go to this point in velen um, and there at um, noon you'll find a noon wraith uh, and uh, killing this noon wraith is important because noon wraith will um, will drop a uh, light essence and uh, a light essence is needed to create uh, the golden oriole potion and normally golden oriole might not be that important to have but since the first big difficult monster is the um, prince Todd, which ha which uses a um, poisonous attack it's very helpful to have this potion Another thing you could do before actually starting to play the real Hearts of Stone is to go uh, to the main island of Skellig and go to Kertrolde and get the um, notice board. Normally the sea uh, outside of the main island of Skellig has no question marks but once you picked up the stuff on the notice board those uh, there will be question marks which mostly are smugglers caches which uh, with a lot of easy loot uh, to get now you can go to a few notice boards and pick up uh, the notices just to have uh, all those question marks around the uh, map but uh, the biggest and most important one is uh, in Kertrolde so uh, once you have those question marks ready uh, you can uh, take a ship and it's just go uh, swim to the uh, to this question mark 
the smart glass caches will be defended by droners or sirens or some other monsters but you can basically one shot them with your crossbow and most of the smugglers caches will have three chests below the surface of the water and they all ha uh, will have either an armor, a sword or uh, glyphs, runestones and either equip even equipment for your horse. You can take a good sword that you wanna use and all the other stuff that you do not need you can sell to an armorer or a smith. Now sometimes the smith won't have enough money to uh, so you won't be able to sell him all the stuff but if you just uh, meditate for uh, one day and come back to the armorer he will have almost 2000 crowns which will allow you with a few such meditations to sell your all your stuff if you make a one and a half hour run looking for smugglers caches you'll be able to have um, to sell your stuff for 20,000 crowns if you want you can also go to the herbal list northeast of the Oxenford forest and after robbing his garden you can buy diagrams from him that uh, will allow you to create some more advanced bombs if you want to use bombs then go to the herbalist in Novigrad he also has some good bomb diagrams if you want to create all the superior potions and bombs you will need to have also for some diagrams for alchemy uh, ingredients which you can uh, find in random chests or you can also get them from alchemists and herbalists all around um, the witcher universe now when you start hearts of stone expansion and go to the seven cat inn and collect the notice from the no notice board you will be able to do a quest called enchantment start at cost and I suggest you do it at the beginning because this will allow you to give uh, uh, the possibility to enchant your equipment. it's not very cheap to do it uh, the start up cost um, are at the beginning 5000 for the next level it's uh, 10,000 and for the last level is 13,000 but you will have a, a few cool enchantments like I have on my sword and my armor and uh, with those uh, fighting a group of bandits like this is quite easy as you can see so while it's not necessary to do any of the steps I suggest um, if you do them uh, playing hearts uh, of stone even on death march will be fairly easy so thank you for watching and see you next time Thank you for watching, please subscribe and check out my other Witcher 3 videos. The chance of an instant kill which you can see here. Another way to use the free adrenaline points is for rent. The alternative attack that you can perform while holding the strong attack button.